family welcome to the channel i hope you guys are having yourself a wonderful day in today's video guys we'll be reacting to what you need to know about the turkish game uh game of thrones and the video was uh, suggested by omer han at uh, thank you very much for taking the time to send me your recommendation and uh, uh, suggestion the video is by trt world and the link is in the description in case you guys wanted to check it out so inshallah we'll get started with the video momentarily and at the end of the video i'll be sharing with you my observation and reaction so please Make sure you stay until the end with that said, now let's get started with our video. In case you haven't heard, there's a Turkish Game of Thrones. No, for real though. It's a Turkish series called Dirilish Ertuğrul, or Resurrection Ertuğrul. So far, there are more than 110 episodes that are over two and a half hours long each. And fans around the world are going wild over it. I love Dirilis Arturul. Dirilis Arturul. Dirilis Arturul. Dirilis Arturul. Dirilis Arturul. Dirilis Arturul. It's the best series ever made. <laughs> Dirilis Arturul is set in the 13th century, and its protagonist, Arturul Bey, is the very man who laid the foundations of the Ottoman Empire. Ben. Süleyman Shah oğlu Ertuğrul. The show began airing in 2014 on Turkey's public broadcaster TRT1. And its purpose was to bolster patriotism, chivalry, compassion, respect for elders, and a ton of other virtues that Turkish people take pride in. Türk an diçerse sözünü tutmadan ölmez. But little did the creators know that it would become an international sensation. It's become so famous that sales of this Alpat have skyrocketed, and even non Turks have been inspired to learn their favorite lines. People from all around the world are flooding our TRT World inbox asking for subtitled versions. So we asked fans worldwide to describe the show, and this is what they had to say It's nice, clean fun entertainment just its chivalry and honor i've never been so captivated and consumed so why is the rest of the world hooked on a show that was created for a local turkish audience well because this story is different and i'm not just talking about the cool costumes horses or the historical feel there are countless historical fiction series out there but this one is centered in the muslim world you have people who look like us, think like us, and even breathe like us. <laughs> when I look at that, I see a role models, I see beautiful behavior, uh, mannerism, and character. What makes us proud of our history? It's nice to be the heroes. It transcends generations, continents. And on top of that, it's halal for the eyeballs. <laughs> Completely PG rated, which means no sex scenes. Gönlümün sultanı, çocuklarımın anası, ömrümün candaşı ol. We all know how Muslim men are usually portrayed in the entertainment industry. They're the bad guys, the terrorists, the sidekicks, or the extras, and the women are portrayed as docile, weak, and even oppressed. But not in Ertuğrul. Instead, both men and women are portrayed as sophisticated healers, scholars, mystics, warriors, and leaders fighting to restore justice. Adaleti cihanın dört bir yerine yayacağız. And, well, some of them are schemers. The series is based on the history of the Oğuz Turks and Ertuğrul's mission to find a permanent homeland for his tribe, the Kayı. During this mission, his tribe fights crusaders, the Mongols, the Byzantines, and sometimes even enemies from among his own people. Türk'ü bu topraklardan silmeye cüret eden kim varsa Mezar 
story also shows characters observing familiar Muslim rituals, offering prayer, reciting Quran, and praising God, and depicts famous figures central to Islamic civilization, like Ibn Arabi, a Sufi and scholar from Andalusia, who becomes Ertuğrul's spiritual guide. But the series is resonating not just with Muslims, but with a global audience. I'm not a Muslim, but I appreciate finding out about Sufism. I'm 74 years old. I live in Oxfordshire oh. in England. The best series ever made. <laughs> you know what I do for the rest of my life until my last breath. Thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, if you haven't watched Ertrul yet, you should. It's on Netflix. Damn, guys, I feel like I've been missing out. You know, Paula, my friend, uh, told me about this like a while back, maybe about a year ago or so. And then uh, you guys also uh, suggested to check out like the popularity of it, which we react to it. But I haven't really got into it. I haven't watched even one single episode. But you know what? After this, I'm going to be watching it, inshallah, because showing the clips, it just actually captivated me and i want to learn and i want to watch and see what's going on so that's really really cool because they're right you know for once in this series they're showing muslim as heroes as uh for example scholars warriors men and women where they're right in hollywood you know muslims are terrorists and uh you know the bad people that they're drug dealer and whatnot right so uh which this is really really cool guys i truly truly appreciate you guys suggesting it because now inshallah i'm going to check it out so thank you very much for taking the time to send me uh, this video if you guys liked it please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and if you'd like me to react to another video you can put your suggestions in the comment uh, section uh, below as always guys thank you again take care of yourself and your family uh, and inshallah i'll see you guys in the next video take care Assalamu